In this screencast, we're going to move into the comp and wireframing phase. For a non-designer like myself, this phase usually takes me the longest time to complete. I get headaches when I have to come up with good-looking site designs and layouts. So I usually just go get help using ex existing templates. But let's go through the steps of creating wireframes and comps. So first, we need to figure out what are the relevant pages we'll need for this website. And these are the following. We need a home page, uh, a, a page where I can record the journey of my character, and maybe a page that has the characters, that describes the characters, and an image gallery and a page about myself which is the author. So we now have to start wireframing. Let's say I hit a mental block and I really don't have an idea how I want my site to be presented. There are many things to consider. Things like what kind of layout I should use. One, two, or three columns. Uh, where should I put the main navigation menus? Top, left, or the right? What color scheme should I use? Uh, it really depends on what kind of story that you're writing. If you're writing a science fiction novel, then something with a dark background, uh, with a mysterious color, would be very suitable. But these are all things that you need to consider before you create a site layout. But let's say we hit a mental block. We don't know what to use and how to start. So if I don't even know how my site should be laid out, there's no way I can come up with a mock-up of my site. So what should I do? Let's turn to templates for inspiration. As I'm surfing around to find inspiration, I came across, across this uh, free web template that may fit my need for a storytelling website. And I have it here. You can see the URL here. And as I scroll down the first page of this template site, I see this greenish template. So I clicked into it. And here's a thumbnail of it. It looks pretty good. It's got uh, like a decent story type image. And uh, the, the decoration of the page looks very nice. Very storytelling, I would put it. So let's just download it. And let's save to desk. OK. Clean up. Let's minimize the browser, and I have it here. Okay, so let me unzip this. Extract files. Okay. And let me bring this down. Let's open this. Oops, too big. All right. So we have an index.html page, a default style sheet, and a folder with images. Let me put it in thumbnails view. And you can see these are. We don't have a lot of images to work with, but these are the basic images, the background, uh, background container, footer, quotes, patterns. Okay, let's go back up a level. And what I want to show you is this license. Okay. Feel free to pause this page for a bit to read the license. This is uh, a, a license from the maker of the person, okay. maker of the template, I'm sorry. 
so this is the basic file structure and in the next video we're going to uh, go into detail about this template and that's it for this screencast thank you